ladies and gentlemen, this morning we are talking about click, click, pow, right in the face. Can you feel the energy right now? We are having a strong G3 geomagnetic storm that is at KP7 levels as we are getting hit by that coronal mass ejection that popped off just a few days ago. And that is not the only good news. Venus has now been spotted in the sky in Virginia, which means now is the time for romance. That is correct. It is full green light go for all would-be lovers out there. Now is the time for romance. I'll say it one more time. Now is the time for romance. I got so much energy right now, I don't know what to do with it. Yep, geomagnetic storm now. And it is hitting. The um, coronal mass ejection is lighting up our skies. The auroras should be lit. And not only that, we have two sunspots that are kind of sort of Earth-facing, which means if we get any activity out of either one, there's a good chance it will also be Earth effective, which means it'll cause more geomagnetic storms. And so we're going to stay on top of a volcano and earthquake watch and just, you know, general wackiness. Ooh, I guess that one just happened. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's one of them days. So it looks like, man, we just had another Earth facing or Earth directed solar event. Oh, I'm so glad the sun is waking up. Big bang. Boom. Um, we'll have to check in on that one because that's what we do. And you'll have to bear with me. Um, I've been in a good mood the last few days and I've got a whole lot of energy. That's not something I'm used to. So I will have to adjust, adjust and adapt and you will have to adjust and adapt as well. Also, Jupiter leaves Aquarius and then heads into Pisces tomorrow. And then Saturn will go retrograde and then on the 26th we'll have a big lunar eclipse. And then Mercury will go retrograde to end the month. So, quite a energetic shift coming for all of us over the next few days. Hey, check out that awesome black box. Did you see it? Did you see it? Don't worry, it'll be back. So you have a big coronal hole here. And you have our two sunspots here. I think this is just a plage. So, but we have more sunspots that are turning around. And we'll be earth facing. So, expect crazy days ahead, my friends. You want me to talk about weather? You want me to talk about weather? You want me to talk about weather? Okay. All right. Here is our danger zone as this area of agitated thunderstorms moves to the east. And there will be some flooding danger for parts of the south. But look at that, dude. The auroral zones be redlining it. So that is impressive. And expect an energetic weekend to the people. And, you know, attitudes and stuff. We got a cool front that has moved here through Houston, but it looks like the rain will be moving out of Texas earlier today and then just strafing its way across the south. And then we'll get a bit of calm in the weather, probably for a day or two. It's been an impressive storm system that has now dipped down to the south into the Gulf of Mexico and has moved beyond Texas. Oh, but these are crazy days indeed. I don't have to tell you that. You're a very smart person who's good at observing things and noticing the trends all around you. And I appreciate that about you. You know what I'm saying? So you got fog and flooding and then frost warnings and then more fog. But definitely the sun is our big story this morning as we have multiple sunspots and then more sunspots that'll be coming around the mountain when she comes she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes more than 70 percent of the gas stations in charlotte have run dry as panic buying exacerbated fuel shortages to the southeast in the aftermath of a hack that shuttered the colonial pipeline and that hack was a lady poured a bunch of prego uh spaghetti sauce on a counter and it and it triggered everybody and it shut the pipeline down all right, I was trying to tell jokes, man. These are very challenging, trying times. And yeah, sure, okay, maybe the world could end at any second. So why not try to enjoy life in these apocalyptic times while praying for your fellow mankind and 
the return of peace. Although technically, I don't know if that we've ever really had peace on Earth. I don't know. People just really love to fight and um, war and stuff. But we definitely live in strange, scary times. You know that. I don't have to tell you that. But, you know, it gets wilder and wilder and crazier every single day. Hey, remember back in 1989 when they found a hurricane on Neptune? I'm bringing this up because um, Jupiter is going into Pisces, which is a water sign, and Neptune's there, which is a water sign. So I'm looking for the next three months to be very floody and um, probably hurricane-y. I might actually drive to the ocean at sundown to see if I can see Venus. This is the sun shooting out a light pillar. Here, Stu Ostro is showing us some erupting and move storms that were moving southeast near the Rio Grande in its inflow rotation above the Anvil Cirrus plume. Thanks, Stu. All right, I'm wrapping this video up short because there's a guy outside my um, window using a weed eater, but Saturday through Monday may flare up in the south, the plains. Yo, so we kind of got calm weather till Saturday. And yeah, the NASA rocket got scrubbed again, so you're waiting for them to put cool colors in the sky. When will it happen? Nobody knows. Hey, did I mention continuous volcano activity in the South Atlantic? Yes, with at least two volcanoes in the Zetabolski and the other in the Saunders Islands, activity continues during nighttime and is made visible by the NIR channels of the Goes East. Hey, will we get early season action for hurricanes? Asks Mike's weather page. Waters are cool, just like you, but shear is kind of strong, just like you. But models keep showing our lingering front having a little shot of maybe something tropical, subtropical as it heads over the Atlantic waters. Bermuda rains still likely regardless into the weekend. We will see. My Jedi hurricane spider sense is not tingling yet. I will let you guys know when I get the feeling that we got one coming around the board. I'm not too worried yet. That could change at any minute, though. But I don't think we'll get hurricane activity in May. I'm um, just, just saying. It's a real bold prediction. I know. Do you believe in love? But yeah, definitely. Everybody get more romantic. It's just, it's, I command me. I can't command you. I'm telling jokes over here. Am I doing any good? The world needs more romance. The world needs more fun. The world needs more comedy. And I love you. Ultimately, my job is to prevent World War III economic collapse and to not be boring. Am I boring you? All right. Everybody have a great day. I'll keep you posted. Try and have some fun. Try and be super romantic. Try and be cool. Try and make people laugh. Try and um, find great joys in life. And try and say thanks to God because God is great and you are pretty awesome too. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Have a great day. I am your Planetary Defense Commander, and I'll talk to you all in the near future.